Hi uh, guys, me again, Aswat. Um, this video, this time, I'm not doing any filter and not uh, anything, G no gimmick. I just want to do a very serious video. It's so serious that I want to do it in English and Malay. So this is the first one in English. It's about uh, the dangers of, it's about depression and the dangers of meth. <laughs> meth is one of the most dangerous drugs I just found out. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a dangerous drug. It's um, like in Malaysia, in where I'm focusing now, is the threat is shabu, they call it shabu, but it's meth. And uh, what come about, why, why I made this video, because uh, last week I had the opportunity to visit a program for kids below 20. Uh, who were in who were addicted to meth and they got caught by the police and the judge because they are underage the judge asked them to go for programs you know to kick to kick the habit and I had opportunity to meet with um, uh, with the doctors that are called to treat this to treat uh, the the addicts. Uh, they are psychiatrists. They are not like, you know, normal GE, normal doctors, you know, they are psychiatrists. And my time with them was very impactful because I learned a lot. Um, and I think a lot of people doesn't know it. I, I didn't know it also. And if you ask me what, how I got to go, actually I was suggested to go to this program to have a, have a listen because uh, I'm also write. I write for a lot of things, and and I I not a lot of people know about that. But I do write for characters in films and TV. I write uh, not in a way that glamorize uh, cocaine, uh, cocaine. What do you call that? Drug dealers. Yeah, I write characters that like who are drug dealers and they are, you know, they are cocaine dealers and whatnot. And I thankfully some people was looking at it so negatively. I was writing all these characters, uh, maybe because I, I I was focusing on the cool aspect of that of the rebellion kind of thing, instead of focusing on the problem, or instead of because I was ignorant of the issue. So the my friend suggested I went to this arranged for me to be there, and then I had to listen and to the edits, you know, and then the doctors. But the conversation with the doctors are the, are the most eye-opener for me and so I want to decide to make this video. So sorry for the long, it's kind of like a vlog. So okay, so what, what did I learn? I learned that among all the drugs, even stronger than cocaine is meth. And, and why do, I don't know why, it just, the doctors told me it has a much more stronger effect on addicts and meth is available almost everywhere the government make it illegal for cocaine and you hear all this cocaine cartel and whatnot which is what i like to write for the villain characters that i do write about and because we think cocaine is uh, is a the top level kind of addiction um it's actually meth and meth have a stronger effect on addicts. Now, okay, we hear people get addicted to drugs, and, but I don't know, you know, you, you don't know. I have no idea why they are addicted. So the, the, the psychiatrist that I met um, told me that they, these drugs, what they do is they, they kick off depression. Uh, they kick off, they give you a boost of um self-esteem you feel motivated you feel energized you feel confident so they take drugs they take meth because meth one is easy to get and two it has a higher effect on on the people who took them 
it means the boost is there the boost is is stronger and when i delve deeper what it means is it the the endorphin the it, it releases all this positive endorphin or whatnot inside you of your mind and makes you feel all this strength all this kind of uh super high motivated and whatnot very positive energy apparently it turns out that those are drug induced and which is why according to the doctor a lot of celebrities a lot of superstars takes them but the effect is is scary it's seriously scary because the effect is violence Yes, people going crazy and people are they 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 are they they are they some involve death uh in my country you hear people going mengamok amok they going amok run amok and they kill their own families they kill uh their kids and in the end they kill themselves because of this drug it solved a lot of the mystery that i mean we hear i hear all the time of these violent cases and then i found out through my through the course that some of this is caused by by meth by shabu and other other kind other meth related thing the doctor explained also the reason psychiatrists are taken are, are, are roped in to get involved with this kind of addicts is because the other drugs like um i you know the the cocaine and whatnot all those things they have the replacement drug like you can treat them chemically like methadone and whatnot but for meth it's affect the mind the psychological because the the effect is 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 psychological and if the the cure is also psychological because the, the they introduced they told me you can get fried they, the addicts can get fried because they can they can they call it spark spark you can know the spark the, the they have lost all they go crazy that's what i mean they go crazy they can go insane and usually when they go to the hospital the doc, when the police bring this this addicts to the hospital they go straight to the psych ward and for any doctor told me once those happen when it happens they are almost no longer able to help the, this patient it takes years and yeah that's that's a good 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 discussion uh, i had with them the effect is why they take drug because it gives them the boost of self-esteem boost of um what do you say boost of uh, energy uh boost of um just a good will good feeling but it lasts only like he said 17 hours it it doesn't last that long it lasts for 17 hours and the effect is then after that there's a there's a withdrawal and and people can go insane and resort to violence and a lot of suicide case that you hear is because of that is because of the they are un unable to cope with that, that 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 stress that mental stress so and when he when he while he was describing this to me i i got to learn a lot about math addiction and i can see in society how what kind of you know there's suicide people who are superstars from korea they are killing themselves and there was a few cases in my country a lot in the whole world he said this is a worldwide global problem and there's even a case of people eating as a people face like of a zombie rakaka i think this the drug is called that that induce people to just become zombie like and eat flesh it's so horrible the side effect and the guys that were that were the kids that below 20 that that were caught got caught thankfully they got caught and they was they are still able to be you know to be inducted in this program and get the help they need but even 
on the offside they said to me that these people will go back and probably will get addicted again because it really makes you feel good i never realized that you know that drugs that i always thought drugs can make you feel peaceful like like you know like uh, when people say weed and stuff right that makes you feel calm and it's a downer thing the whole experience made me ponder and i was just sitting down and and looking back and the cases that we read i read a newspaper about people killing their families in the in the state of Meng, uh, amak neighbors killing neighbors this chaotic mind comes from this drug this meth and it affects the brain it affects the psychological aspect and i, I was like i was telling them man if you live in a busy city in the in the in the in the workplace that is so chaotic and so driven people who have that kind of to cope they might take this drug and of course it's so also easily real easily available so people can get easily stuck with this for their life you know and i was i wanted to make this video because i think i i myself didn't know that you know you always think uh, you you hear about all these people, all these celebrities having drug addiction. You think it's easy. Uh, you think you don't have an idea why they take it, why they stuck with it, and why it's so difficult to let go. Because the the result gives you such a boost in terms of emotional, psychological. You give you energy, and that's why people are addicted. So part of the program they are teaching these kids uh, mindfulness, uh, how to how to get that, how to get that same boost from uh, activities, health, sporting activities, camping. You know to release all these endorphins, you need you can do other activities outside, and that was very 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 informative, and I never realized that, and it was such an eye opening say no to math oh man that is such a it's such a sad sad situation to be to and to learn you know i i learned it through this program and i was thinking like oh man i got to make a video about it because the effect is so so bad to people man and then the effects on the brain it really kills it really dries your brain that's why they call it spark spark means you your brain is gone so it's difficult for 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 hardcore addicts to get well and i learned a lot i learned a lot so then i just want to make this video for to to highlight to share my knowledge and hopefully people can stay and get informed and be careful that's my intent in doing this video thank you guys for watching and you know get well anybody who have problem you know you they need to cure that void inside the void inside of you inside of your mind inside of your heart that you need to fill it with a oh in my, uh, you know the malay they call it jiwa yang kosong they call it the empty soul you need to fill that you need to fill that up and 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 be positive find that you need you need to find that uh they also have a spiritual mindfulness they teach all the psychological techniques spiritual techniques that you just need to get well such a very important thing and man you know when you look at these people they are so thin they are you know they go to the gym they i mean some of them go to the gym when i was talking to them i was thinking like how do you get involved in math so and then they have family problems back very abusive parents you know abusive problems pressure from life and work and so they got involved with, with math and when the first they told me it, it, it boosted it changed their world and i always wonder why how i mean yeah and then the doctor told me the effect is much stronger than the positive effect is much stronger than cocaine 
it makes them boost it and whenever they are withdraw they keep have to take it again and again because the body over time build resistance so they need to take more at the same time the effect also quantified multiplied and they are trapped and such a dangerous drug such a real eye opener i want to share it with you guys so yeah hopefully this can be useful to anybody watching this and hopefully you know we we learn something i learn a lot from this thing so i i'm still thinking about do how do i how do i write how do i include this in my characters and whatnot wow okay guys this is some info on on math i just want to share with you guys thank you guys for watching peace